Allah has motivated the believers to fight for the cause of Allah to do jihad so that they may be able to protect and guard the Islamic state and ward off the enemies of Islam. Now in this verse Allah is talking about and ordering another form of jihad that is the Muslims the believers of an Islamic state they have the shelter of the Islamic state being in a Muslim state they have been ordered to reach out to help the oppressed Muslims of which who are the residents of a non-Muslim state you understand Allah is ordering the Muslims residing in an Islamic state to reach out to help the oppressed Muslims who are the residents of the non-Muslim states. The verse Allah in a narrative manner in the form of a question is asking all the believers that what is your issue? What is your problem? What is your problem that that you that you see, you find, you know of and that you are very much well aware of the people of the Muslims who are oppressed by the non-believing Muslims or the non-believing enemies? Then why don't you go ahead? Then why don't you go ahead and you fight for those enemies, for those Muslims to help them, to support them, to protect them, to release them from the oppressors? There are children, there are women, there are old people who cannot find the resources, who cannot find the conditions to escape from the clutches of the oppressors or who do not have the physical and the economic conditions to be able to migrate out and to save themselves, who do not, who cannot do all this. So why don't you do jihad to help these oppressed Muslims? The orders of this verse is basically in the period of the Prophet وسلم, is the order for the Muslims of Medina because these were the Muslims of Mecca after the migration of Prophet وسلم, and the companions there were some who were left behind in Mecca they were women they were children they were old people they were men who could not find the resources so they were left behind in Mecca and then the tyrants of Mecca the people of the Quraysh of Mecca were doing what? they were persecuting them they were torturing them severely so Allah here has motivated the immigrants and the residents of Medina who were enjoying the security of the Islamic State of Medina to help the oppressed of Mecca but we all know and we all comprehend that the orders of the verses of Quran were not just limited to the period of the life of the Prophet The orders of Quran and the verses of Quran have implications and orders and commandments till the day of Qiyamah. So this verse is ordering all the Muslims of all the Islamic states of the whole world. Even today. Even after today, that when the Muslims of the Islamic countries, they are observing that Muslims in the different parts of the world are being tortured by the anti-Islamic forces, by the anti-Islamic powers, then why don't they help them and why don't they fight for their, for their survival and for their protection? Remember, the teachings of Islam and the message of Quran there is no concept of the geographical boundaries of Islamic states. Islam knows no boundaries. Islam is a global religion. And we are all Muslims. And all the Muslims of all the world are our Muslim brothers. All the Muslims of the world are our Muslim brothers. The love of our of our Muslim countries, the love of our Muslim states which should also be just to strengthen our state and to make it as a fort of Islam to support and to strengthen the Ummah all over the world. This verse is actually asking, ordering all the Muslims at, 
at their individual capacities at their state levels to help the oppressed muslims of the world the worst is in fact ordering the whole of the muslim ummah to protect to protect the honor of the sisters of kashmir who are being who are being brutally raped by the wicked indian armies to provide help and support and crutches to the handicapped brothers of afghanistan who are being tortured by the us troops to provide shelter to the orphans and the widows of syria to help and protect the mujahideen of the ikhwanul muslimoon of egypt to support to support to pray for the ji leaders of bangladesh being hung being tried being punished by the in the tyranny of hasin awajid the worst is asking the whole ummah the whole ummah to help to support to console the palestinian mothers those those palestinian mothers who are now who are now exhausted who are just getting exhausted gathering the parts of the bodies of their martyred sons the source is an eye opener for the ummah it is an eye opener for all the muslims of the world for all the muslim states for all the heads of the muslim states for all the army chiefs of the muslim states allahumma ighfir lana wa lil mu'minina wal mu'minat wal muslimina wal muslimat allahumma allif bayna qulubihim wa aslih zata baynihim وانصرهم على عدوك وعدوهم اللهم لعن الكفرة الذين يصدون عن سبيلك ويقذبون رسلك ويقاتلون أولياءك اللهم خالف بين قلمتهم وزلزل أقدامهم وأنزل بهم بأسق الذي لا تردوه عن القوم المجرمين أو الله help the muslims of kashmir oh allah help the muslims of kashmir oh merciful save save the muslims of afghanistan allah take care of the widows and orphans of syria oh our merciful allah protect protect my brothers of the ikhwanul muslimoon of egypt or oh allah O oh Allah support the JI leaders of Bangladesh O oh Allah O oh Allah help O oh Allah protect the mujahideen of Hamas in Palestine O oh Allah guide the ummah O oh Allah protect the ummah O oh Allah unite the ummah O oh Allah guide the ummah O oh Allah protect the ummah O Allah unite the ummah Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim wa tub alaina innaka antat tawwabur rahim Amin sumamin